Located in the Tower Grove South neighborhood of South St. Louis is Local Harvest. And by its name, it's no surprise that this small independent grocer tries to source as much as they can from within 150 miles of St. Louis. We have a lot of demand for local produce and we also do a lot of local dairy, local meat, local eggs are a big thing right now. And anything else in the, in the grocery realm, we try to get as local as we can. Local Harvest chooses food producers that grow their products and raise their animals humanely, ethically, and sustainably. But who's to know? What are the benchmarks a farmer needs to meet, and who's checking? Our whole purpose as an organization is to educate, organize, and advocate. This is Jared Opsel. He's the executive director for the Missouri Coalition for the Environment. We're really focused on people's interaction with the environment and public health as well. MCE's been around for decades protecting our state's environment, but it was three years ago they started Known and Grown, a program supporting sustainable farmers and connecting area consumers with eco-friendly local produce and meat. And we're up to over 60 farmers now that are a part of it that are all doing those things that I think a lot of people think of when they have in their vision of an idyllic farm. That's what these places look like. Farmers in the Known and Grown program are required to follow their good stewardship practices, including antibiotic-free animals, no synthetic sprays, no animal confinement, no added growth hormones, and prevent drift from neighboring farms that use chemicals. The whole food industry, if you look at it across the entire world, is responsible for about 20 to 25 percent of all greenhouse gas emissions that are produced. Mm -hmm. So that's all the farm equipment, all the shipping and the production, the distribution, all of that is associated with it. And, you know, if we can start addressing that with these better practices, start improving what we're doing, and we're starting to see even larger farms start to implement some of these practices, we can reduce that impact on our overall environment and make things much more sustainable for ourselves. So Known and Grown is doing the legwork for both stores like Local Harvest and consumers like you and me, ensuring what we buy meets sustainable requirements. They've created a local food locator where consumers can connect with farms and find available retailers, including restaurants, carrying Known and Grown products. Next time you're in the produce section or farmer's market, look for the purple beet. And for the farmers, to be known and grown is a choice. It's not just rules and regulations. They receive so much more. This is sunshine. Anybody want to hold her? Yes. <laughs> this is Farmer Antoine of New Roots Urban Farm. New Roots Urban Farm. It's a urban farm in North St. Louis, one of the oldest urban farms in St. Louis. His business model is a little different from the others who participate in the Known and Grown program. He gives everything he grows away. In the last two years, I've been giving everything away. Um, I think that's the easiest way to get people interested in eating fresh kale or fresh Swiss chard. Um, that's a food apartheid area. A lot of those folks in their neighborhood is on government assistance or um, don't make a lot of money. So to invest in Swiss chard and kale, um, kind of silly for them, so I find that if I give it to them for free, then they'd be more inclined to try it. I'd say the hardest thing is we're going up against a system that's now developed over the past 80 to 100 years of industrial farming. Uh, but one thing I don't think people have realized at the time was that impact on their overall community and their environment. And we're seeing that impact in places with lack of access to fresh, healthy you know, foods for their community. And that's something that we realized with this program is, you know, even though we originally came into it with that environmental lens, we saw the impact this could have on providing that access to a lot of communities that did not have it. I'm all about building new farmers. We need way more urban farmers of all kinds in this area. I focus on BIPOC farmers, black specifically, but we need more farmers in this area. And that's what MCE and Known and Grown offer is education to for me to pass on to those folks who don't have that uh, access to information. Both farmer Antoine and Opsel believe that farmers in the known and grown St. Louis network are a thriving and essential part of our greater food system. 
And more farmers are needed to make access to locally grown and raised food the standard in our region. The good news is Known and Grown recently received a grant from the Missouri Foundation for Health, which means buying local should be a little easier in the coming year. For Living St. Louis, I'm Anne-Marie Berger.